Item 5, upon recommendation of the Treasurer, to approve the agenda September 17, 2024, Board of Education regular session. So moved. Second. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mrs. Sprack? Yes. Mr. Mark? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Shirley? Yes. <coughs> Item 6, we have two people signed up to speak for public comments. Um, Jeff, I don't come first if you would. Just to remind you, we have three minutes for speaker. And if you would, when you're up here, please say name, address. If you would. One director, one assistant, and 
and two long boxes. They're really quite simple. I think there needs to be more clarity and financial support concerning the reason for the department. A husband is retired by the and he owns town six days. If you want to know how to systematically dismantle a music program, you go out of town. He has been working with the drum line with the rich things he's retired for the last few years. He has a lot of knowledge on music programs and how they work with the drum line. The band used to have an ally in our former Board of Education and the Joe Cody. She, she and her wife refinanced the home to purchase daily employees for the election in the 70s. I'm not asking you to pursue the comments you can, but if you don't support the board of this program, and which board of this program, you can show this window to the shop that I can do. Thank you for the time. I will start with Bob Powell Elementary School. We had a student start to the school year, the early school was open house, a huge success, and the parents and students had a chance to meet their teachers before the school before the school started. Currently, we are busy assessing students in K2 using nibbles for reading and I ready for math and entry. Intervention and enrichment groups will be formed using the staff. We are excited to have our first play one air night on September 26th. We have a football team and Coach Parker will be our guest speaker to discuss the importance of reading at home. Parents will play a reading game and have the opportunity to get a library card. We will also survey our parents up uh, to get an understanding of how we can help them at home with their child learning. I'll move on to the AIS. The school year is in full swing. We had an open house and supply drop off before the start of the school year. Parents and students got to meet teachers and see their classrooms. We started benchmark testing for all our students. We will use that data to perform instruction and provide intervention. Our annual VIP breakfast coming up in October, so our students will get to enjoy breakfast with their favorite adults. Finally, our third grade, we are taking their first field trip for two weeks to Hale Farm and Village, and that is what is happening at AIS. Any questions? Moving on to AIS. Uh, we had a good start to the year. Students are done with math and ELA, ISL, diagnostics. Our teachers' DBTs are up and running. They are using the data from ISL to plan out our interventions and we started a new math curriculum for the our math teachers, our math teachers are working through each lesson. They are enjoying the math concept. And they are starting to understand the flow of each lesson better as each day goes on. Overall, overall our building is in good shape thanks to our custodial team. We are looking forward to continued success as the board goes on. And our parent teacher conference night is October 10th, which is a Thursday. In the for Fitch High School, um, the 24 25 school year has had a great start. Parents and students attended the open house on the 4th of September. Parents walked their students' safe. The PTA provided staff and instructions. The CTE grant that was awarded to Fitch last year is in full swing. The low tech office room has been updated. The business department uh, received the technology furniture as well as the curriculum. Matt Bosch and his team did a great job in forming the welding skills, transforming the welding and steel trade room, and all the welding equipment has been delivered and ready for use. And that is great. Thank you. Thanks, sir. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have number eight. Number eight. This is Frank. Can you do the student recognition, please, for our 12 weeks off? So this is always one of the highlights of being on at the Board of Education is to acknowledge the accomplishments of our students. Um, this 12U team, it's the second year in a row that they advanced from state. They went to North Carolina and represented Boston Town. 
tremendously. We are so incredibly proud of all of you. Um, I tell Coach Ward that Austin Town softball's future looks very, very bright. I am going to actually call up one of the coaches is here tonight, Mike Holder, and he's going to introduce the 12U girls softball team. Thank you guys so much. I want to thank the board and Mr. Kelly for all the support. Mr. Falcon too. You guys have tremendous support. So many text messages to me and the parents. I want to thank the parents too. They did a tremendous job. We were on the road for over 20 days, like 10 in Indiana and like 12 in North Carolina. Uh, these girls went from me in Austin Town. We represented Austin Town in Boardman, and then we went to Indiana. We were known as Ohio. And then we went to uh, North Carolina, we were in the Central. But every time we were together, we always said, uh, eight town three. So that was our, our thing. They, were, they did a very good job of uh, representing this town. And uh, super proud of them. Thanks for all the parents. Thanks for Mr. Kelty's support. This is my office. This is great. Everybody had such tremendous support for us. So we want to thank them. But these guys put in all the hard work. These guys are some of the best softball players you'll see in the world. Um, and yes, when I looked up in the stands, Mr. Ward was at uh, all of our games, so he knows, he knows he's got some good girls coming. So I'm going to introduce first Lillian Sheffield. Just come on up, girls, we'll get a picture. Marissa Fulver, Peyton Sever, Gianna Hoops, Bella Nyberg, Emily Beelan, Lexi Petrella, Ava Fisher, Annabelle Mikesell, Kendra Lake, Mila Hanley, and last but not, not least, Gracie Fonda. Yes. <clears throat> Item 13, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, 
addendum, approve the following contractual agreement pursuant to Ohio Revised Code Section 3313-845, Governing Board of the Educational Service Center of Eastern Ohio, ESC, and the Board of Education of the Austin Town Local School District, District, reading the amended contractual items as presented. Second. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mrs. Swear? Yes. Mr. Marshall? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 14. On the recommendation of the superintendent, through the following contractual agreement, this contract is made by and among Austin County Local School District and Legacy Visiting Health Services and Ohio Corporation, as mentioned below. So moved. Okay. Mrs. Swerk? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Martin? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. <coughs> Item 15. Resolution on the recommendation of the superintendent the following resolution as mentioned below. So moved. Second. Mr. Marco? Yes. Mrs. Swear? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 16, resolution again. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the following resolution regarding the employment of substitute teachers as mentioned below. So moved. Mr. Marco? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Mrs. Smart? Yes. Item 17. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the following memorandum of understanding by and between the Austin Local School District Board and the Austin Town Education Association. OEA, NEA, as mentioned below, sections 1 through 10. Mrs. Swerk? Yes. Mr. Marco? Yes. Mrs. Mott? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Right of 18, I'd like a recommendation for the next school board meeting to be Thursday, October 17th, uh, 4 p.m. work session and 5 p.m. board meeting. So moved. Mrs. Swerk? Yes. Mrs. Mott? Yes. Mr. Marco? Yes. Mr. Bird Porter? <coughs> yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Any comments, Mr. Carlos? Uh, usually Their education 
over the past year. That's amazing for our district. That's amazing for our community. And that's amazing for the future of your children. Kudos to the teachers that have taken the time that don't see mediocrity is, is, is one thing that are actually making a difference. I want to give them a shout out as well. Thank you. To adjourn, please. Mrs. Swear? Yes. Mr. Marco? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes.